Hello and welcome to this video on Focusing 101. We're going to start out here with the JTEC 7 watt laser and notice that the Z axis is a little bit high. Um, we recommend focusing these lasers uh, at an eighth of an inch off the work surface. So you're going to want to um, move the Z axis down, but we include this little focusing tool um, in the package. It's an eighth of an inch um, high. Uh, and so you can lay it flat under the shroud and adjust the height. So notice that it's a little bit high right now. Um, and that's because we're gonna show you how to adjust it to an eighth of an inch. So note that this, uh, this eighth of an inch level is gonna be for the shrouded versions of the JTEC lasers, which is uh, the most common uh, sold item. Um, if you're in light burn now, so let's go to the move tab. In the move tab, you're gonna see the fire button here. Um, this will fire the laser in low power and low power is going to be for these lasers around four percent um it could be lower you want to get it to be as low as possible with just turning on the laser so if you notice on this one 3.5 doesn't do anything um 3.75 doesn't do anything um once you hit like four there's a little spot you can see now there's a spot right there sometimes if you want to get a little bit brighter you can go to 4.25 um or you can go even a little bit higher um, that gets it a teeny bit brighter. You can see that it, right now it's a rectangle because we're high. We're very high on it. So we're going to start moving the laser down to show that how it can get um, slower, lower as you move. The distance for how you move the Z down is there. The Z button down is here. So when you press it, the laser will go off and it will go down and you can press the fire button again and it will come back up. And we're going to show it going down and showing the laser beam get smaller as it goes down. So I'm just going to go over really quickly on the website. We have the uh, um, Focusing Your Laser 101 page. Um, it goes through some of the details of what the laser is and what the lens is in here. But really what we want to talk about here is what is focal length. So focal length really means this point at which you have a minimum spot size. So as you go through, um, you can either adjust this in Z or you can adjust the lens. Um, we're going to show you how to just adjust it in Z's to get it because it comes pre-focused at an eighth of an inch on the shrouded version. So we're going to show as you move this lens down, that focal point is going to get, you get to slower and slower to that focal point until you hit that perfectly um, um, thin area. Um, it's kind of like an hourglass, like simple, similar to an hourglass. So if you are adjusting Z, you can get it down to the one and eighth inch and it's going to be perfect. Uh, that's where we preset it. But if you're adjusting it with the lens, you're going to notice later on we're going to do it where it's going to get small and then it's going to get big again because you went a little bit too far and then you have to go back and get it small. So between two points, it's going to be the smallest point. So if you see it getting big, you need to stop and go the other direction and vice versa. Um, if it gets small and then gets big again, go the other direction. So that's a little bit of, of how to do it. So we're moving this down and you can see it get smaller and smaller as we go down. A little smaller. And we'll go even smaller and we'll go smaller increments. Still looks like it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. We're going to check to see where they're almost to an eighth. Getting smaller. Oh, we hit it and now it's stuck, so we can go up a little bit. And there should be our focus. And that's a pretty small beam in there. Um, from the factory, it will be set at about an eighth of an inch, so that should be pretty close to um, perfect focus. Um, if you're doing things like metal and other things, uh, you might want to adjust Z really, really small and get it to even be in the smallest you possibly can. Um, but that's how you do it for uh, a factory set focus laser right when you get it into your shop or your house or your lab. Um, and that's where focus is going to be set. Let's next go and talk about how to set um, focus um, if it accidentally gets out of focus, um, either by changing the lens or um, if you want to verify focus um, by, by um, doing it manually. So we're going to do that next. 
So we've now turned off the laser driver and we're going to access the lens by taking off the shielding piece in the front. The shielding piece can be taken off by putting your index fingers on these two um, pegs on the top and slowly pushing them away and getting the uh, shielding piece to lift up. Um, pretty simple to do and take it off for the 7 watt. The 2.8 and the 4.2 watt shrouded lasers are, are easy as well. You're just going to be taking them um, and pull, push the shielding piece just up to get to the lens. Um, that's a pretty easy process to do for both of those to get access to, to the light, light lens system. So now that we have the shielding off, we can get to the lens. This is the high resolution lens in here. Um, let's take it out. And we're going to take it out by rotating counterclockwise. Um, it will come out and also the spring behind it will pop out. Um, make sure that you don't lose the spring or the lens. Um, and it, these two um, go together. It's a full spring with a black coated lens. That's going to be the high resolution. If you bought it, you probably also got a high efficiency lens in a bag. Um, this lens is going to be brass and it's going to have a, its own um, spring, which is going to be a cut spring, so it's a little shorter. Um, and it's going to be a brass tube uh, instead of a black one. And both of them will have a silver thumb through screw on top. Um, but those are our two lens options. So let's go ahead and um, insert back in the high resolution lens. So we're going to do this by taking the spring and putting it in. You can hold it with your other finger a little bit while you have it in there. And then you're just going to put that lens into the laser tube, copper laser tube, and give it a, a turn. Now I'm going to put this back on and show you how big that lens will, uh, rectangle will be um, if you just have it um, turned barely on. So that's a very large beam as you can see. Um, we, if you see that your beam is that big, that means that you need to focus it um, differently and get the focus a little bit better. Um, so we're going to do that right now. So one of the ways you can do it is, is make sure the laser's off again so the fans are not turning. Um, if you have the newest version, it's going to be a, a longer um, shroud on it. It's not the shorter shroud. Um, and it's also going to have the uh, standard uh, length um, high-res lens on it. In this particular case, if you have one that has the longer version and you've, you've bought probably after, um, I think, uh, February 20th, uh, 2020, then this will have about 15 turns um, to get it in focus. So you can take your index finger and your thumb and put it around it and you can do um, 15 turns. So one of them is one and then you have to turn it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. So let's try and see if that looks pretty good. And we still have a pretty decent focus height there. Turn that on. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, let's turn it down a little bit so you can see. That spot looks pretty sharp versus the big rectangle it just was a second ago. Um, and that's that's one way, a quick and easy way to do it, to get the focus um, done on the newest version of lasers. Um, let me show you how to do it um, with just by turning the uh, lens. So if you have small enough fingers, you can get in here and twist it while you have your goggles on and while you're watching uh, the beam and just make sure you rotate it clockwise. If you have it all the way out, you're just gonna slowly see the beam get smaller. It still kind of looks like a rectangle, but we're getting there. And that looks pretty darn small. I think I did about 15 little rotations. Um, and then I'm going past it and you can see, oops, 
It got too big. So now it's big again. So I'm going to go back the other direction. Go back counterclockwise. And you're like, oh, I think that's looking pretty small. I'm going to go a little bit farther, just a teeny bit farther. And then, oops, no, I got it big again. So I'm going to go back clockwise. And I think now I'm seeing it get small. And, oh, and now it's getting big again. So I'm going to go back. And somewhere right there, between those two spots where I said, oh, it's getting big, and then all of a sudden it's getting small again, um, is going to be the perfect focus. Um, so it takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of time to get knowing exactly where that, that perfectly small spot is, but it should not look like a rectangle anymore. That's the biggest, biggest uh, part of it. So. so we're gonna show this one more time. It's a little bit easier if you put something black, like a black metal underneath it. And so we've just put some black metal and we've also taken our focus height and we've made it uh, make sure that it's that inch and a half or a eighth of an inch. Um, above the material. So we're still focusing it to an eighth of an inch. You can kind of see in there that it is um, a small rectangle, right? And so we're going to try doing that again just to see. I'm going to try to get my fingers in here, see if I can rotate it. You can see it hopefully getting smaller. It gets that rectangle out. See it getting smaller. And it's getting to almost a pinpoint. That's getting to a teeny pinpoint. See how that's a pinpoint now? That is super small. Let's go past it so you can see it get big again. And there it goes. You can see it start getting big again. You're like, oh, I went too far. So that's somewhere in the middle of those two spots. And you can see it really well with the black that right, right about there is this super teeniest spot that you can get. And that's on black and it's, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but that's as good as you're probably gonna get um, on this for focusing. You know, and if you want to do it um, in, and take it off, um, just make sure that you take the laser, um, turn it off every time you take it off. If you want to take it off, then you can take it off and spin um, spin the, the lens, get in there, spin the lens, you know, and then adjust it, put it back on. I know this is kind of more of a, a pain, but you're going to put it back on turn it back on and then see whether or not that did anything for you in terms of the spot. A um, little bit longer of a process to do it every time you turn it you take it off but that's another way to do it if you can't get your fingers in there. Alright well there you have it that's how to focus a JTEC laser. If you have any other questions uh, please email us at customer service at jtechphotonics.com or visit our website and to view some of the useful information on it. Thank you.